Welcome to this month's General Engineering Pro News Roundup. My name is Melissa and here are our top stories. You may think that volcanoes and Antarctic rocks are unlikely places for plants and fungi. However, scientists at the Royal Botanical Gardens are calling for the immediate protection of 74 new plants and 15 fungi discovered across the globe. The discoveries were made last year and a call for immediate protection is at the forefront of scientists' minds because around three quarters of undescribed plants are said to be threatened with extinction. Senior research leader Dr Martin Cheek says giving a species a scientific name is the first step towards putting protections in place and investigating potential uses for humanity. It is estimated that as many as 100,000 plants are yet to be formally identified with fungi exceeding these numbers. H2 Energy Europe, a builder of European hydrogen ecosystems, has been given the green light for a one gigawatt green hydrogen plant in Denmark. The large scale production facility is a significant milestone and will support the decarbonisation of heavy industries and road transportation while serving as chemical feedstock to produce sustainable e-fuels like methanol and ammonia. The plant will create approximately 60 permanent jobs and up to 700 jobs during its construction. Oman has launched a tender for a large scale 500 megawatt solar project in the northwest. This will be the fourth solar project in the country, covering an area of around 10 million square metres, with a commercial operation date planned for the fourth quarter of 2026. Public trust in UK engineers remains high according to the latest Ipsos Veracity Index. The Ipsos Veracity Index is one of Britain's longest running polls on professional trust. Their recent findings saw 85% of British people interviewed in November 2023 saying that they trusted engineers to tell the truth. This placed engineers within the top five most trusted professions alongside nurses, aeroplane pilots, librarians and doctors. MV, an Indian solar module maker, has been selected by KPI Green Energy Limited to equip a 240 megawatt solar plant in the western Indian state of Gujarat. The solar site will supply power to the State Electricity Regulation Board, Gujarat Uja Vikas Nigam Limited. It is scheduled for completion by May 2025, with the first batches due to arrive as soon as this March. And finally, the Australian government has selected six large-scale electrolysis projects to kickstart the country's green hydrogen industry. The projects have been chosen as part of the two billion Australian dollar scheme to become a leader in green hydrogen production and exports. The chosen six will have until June 27th to submit a full application, with the government expected to announce its final funding decision at the end of this year. And that's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at NES Fircroft for your daily dose of engineering news, career advice and job vacancies. We'll see you next time for our next engineering news roundup.